Welcome back to another episode of Raul's World of Sense. I am Raul. Today we're going, going to be going a little bit further with the A137-2 Wave Multiplier 2 right here. Uh, in the last video, we kind of did a brief overview of some of the features of this module and got a look at what the waveforms uh, look like when they're processed. We did a saw right here, triangle, and then sine. Uh, so we're going to go a little further this time and get some really detailed uh, extensive views of each one of those waveforms and then maybe a few other things as well. Uh, so for this segment and then the next one after this, I'm breaking it into two parts so we can really get a look at those waveforms. So let's go ahead and start our little patch here just so we can get sound going. Uh, a couple things if you've been following along, uh, I've been using this kind of multiples section over here with uh, two green uh, cables over here, one going to the top section of my oscilloscope one going to the bottom section of my oscilloscope, uh, in case you're wondering what those are over there. Uh, so let me get that part of the patch going so you can actually see something. And we're going to start with the sine wave. So I'm taking a sine out, going to the top section of my multiples, and you can see over at the scope, there's our sine wave. Uh, now I did play around with the level over here at the A137-2 to kind of ensure that the level will be about the same when I plug it in, so you can double check me when we do that. So I'm going to take the sine wave out from here, because that's a copy of it at the malt, and I'm going to go over to the input of our A137-2. There we go. And now we need to get it plugged into this part of the multiple over here, so let me move my cable out of your face first, and then take my output from here, and go over to the bottom section of the malt. There we go. And so you should kind of see exactly the same thing, but we can't hear it yet. Uh, so for that, what I'm going to do is take another copy of that right here. There we go. Going over to our VCA, which is below our A137-2 down here, right over here, and going into the input. So we should be able to hear that. Basic sine wave, not too exciting yet, uh, but we will we'll be doing some processing to it. Um, so if you remember, these are controls for the shift units, and will allow you to turn up each individual shift unit as you go to modify the shape or the sound that you're getting out of it. So let's take a look and bring up some of that. I'm just going to bring it up to about there. I'm right about three. And let me bring the second one up to maybe twice that maybe around six, right about there. And then let me bring this one up to maybe one or something. And then number four, I'll bring all the way on a high setting over here, maybe on this side. So that's right at about eight or nine, give or take. And so that's our basic uh, patching to allow us to see what that is actually doing to our sine wave. Of course, there's a lot of different kinds of combinations that I can do by moving my manual controls over here. Right here is just number one, shift unit one being modified to the entire stretch of it. Okay, and then here's number two. Do that a few times, and then now let me show you number three. So here's number three. And here's number four. Okay. Just to get a basic idea of what's going on here. Okay, and now to kind of spice this up a little bit, we're going to actually send some notes into our VCO over here, uh, right over here. And uh, for that, I thought we'd use the sequencer as we've been doing in the past. Uh, a couple of notes that I just wanted to kind of tell you right now. You can kind of see some cables are already set up over here. Uh, these two uh, sets of triggers are actually going into the bottom section of the switch right here. We'll be using those in a future video at this blue cable. Uh, and then this red cable is actually consolidating the two uh, outputs of CVs coming from the lower row of voltages and the top row. 
So those are being moved uh, every one, two, three, eight steps, or at the eighth step, it switches over to the second row. Um, so let me take that output, and we're going to go first, let's go into the quantizer right here. There we go. And then I'm going to take the quantizer out, and then just go into my VCO. Here we are. It's a little bit high, so let me try and bring it down an octave, maybe. Okay, so now you can see how exactly that is kind of changing because of the pitches we're sending over here. So now what I'm going to do is modify it by changing the manual setting. And I'm starting with number one, going all the way to the max. And you can kind of look at the oscilloscope. Here's the minimum, here's the maximum again. Shift unit one. And right about the middle, let's go to the next one. Shift unit two. Right there at the minimum, shift unit two. Bring that up. Okay, there's all the way up to max. I'm gonna leave it about here for you. Now let's move on to shift unit three. And all the way to the max there. Okay, there's shift unit three. I'm gonna leave it about there. Let's go on to shift unit four. Okay, so that's the basic idea. Now let's change waveforms, jump over to the triangle wave, kind of get an idea of what that looks like. There we go. Now let's go through those waveforms. It's kind of an interesting shape right there. Now when I get to a place like that, what I tend to do I want to hear it a little bit better as I bring up the level. And then I go back to my modification. Almost looks like the letter M there. Let's try shifting it too. Shifting it three. Maximum. Now let's go to shift unit four. Maximum. Minimum. Okay, so that's the triangle wave. Let's move on to the saw wave. So here's saw wave for you. So that one. I don't think the shape is quite as interesting, but let's kind of go in there and make some modifications. Starting with shift unit four there. Here's the minimum, the maximum, here's the minimum, and the maximum over here, and then the minimum of shift unit two, there we go, let's move it all the way to max, just right about there, and leave it about there. Now let's go to shift unit one, make some changes there. Okay, so that's the basic idea with the audio processing. Now, um, there are some other, you know, combinations, of course. I mean, if you really, really wanted to, you could uh, go down here to your VCA and actually start there. Uh, maybe take a little bit of triangle and a little bit of sine, mix them together, and then throw them into your wave multiplier or use some kind of external audio source that you want to process in this as well. Uh, so a lot of different types of combinations. Um, the last thing I want to do in this first segment of the demo uh, for the oscilloscope views is 
I wanted to kind of just spice this one up because I, I found that this one was kind of at least least interesting shape wise to me so um i'm gonna actually go one step further and i'm gonna stop here i actually take the out from there and go over to the next one over the a137-1 and just see what kind of shapes i get now i haven't tried this out so i'm not entirely sure what this is going to look like could look like something semi-uninteresting but let's try it anyway so taking the output from the wave multiplier number one Going over to our oscilloscope, and let's take a look. I may need to bring up my level a little bit. Modify my settings a little bit over here. Just playing around with the manual folding level. That kind of a muscle square wave there. Just the harmonics. And I'm just kind of searching for something kind of semi-interesting shaped. Getting mostly... Bring the level down a little. So you can get some pretty complex shapes there when using the two in tandem, I guess, one before the other. Or I could have done it the other way around, like processed in here and then done that way. Let's try a different waveform and then we'll wrap this section up. Try a triangle wave. And let's go in and do some modification here, starting with the multiples section. Just gonna leave that there, folding level. We have a nice little, almost pulse shape. And then the symmetry setting. Now harmonics. And of course you can combine anything in between. So you get something almost unrecognizable. Okay, so for the first audio processing oscilloscope views uh, demo, that's gonna be that's gonna be it. Um, hope you found this useful. We kind of just did some basic processing here. Uh, in the next one, what I plan to do is maybe incorporate a little bit of modulation as we move along, um, and then go a little bit further later on with some other topics with the A137-2. So um, that's gonna do it for this episode. See you next time, and thanks for watching.